Shalom, welcome to my channel. I have been asked so many times how I take my wheels and tires apart from themselves. Also seen that question on, chat on Facebook. So I'm going to explain once and for all how to separate my tires from my wheels. In here, I've got a sealed box of acetone. Acetone. This acetone can sit here for a year at least. I buy a whole gallon, pour it in, and just leave it there. If I want to take a tire apart, I just throw it in here for a couple of days, leave it in there, even forget about it. After a couple of days, come over and just take it apart. It's as easy as that. Here's my wheel. Here's my insert. And here's my tire and as you can see everything is good as new and ready to be used reused re-glued again in this case these are my buggy tires after this i'm going to show you how to glue new tires short course tires as easy as that and that is how I separate my wheels and tires. And now, short tutorial on how I glue my tires. As you can see, that can be re-glued, reused. Probably you won't use that again. It's done, but that's it. When I glue my tires, I've got short course tires here but I want to glue, glue, okay, and my rim. First thing I do is take some sandpaper and I scorch the rim so the glue has a place to grip on. I just go around the rim, try to get the outside edge. That's where the glue goes. Once I've done that, I take my little piece of cloth. I've got some clean acetone here. I pour it into my piece of cloth. And I just wipe the excess of what I just did and clean the rim, get it ready for glue. I do that to the tire as well. Clean the rim. It's usually got some gunk on it, some wax from when they make it. If you don't clean that properly, your glue won't stick. After I've done that, what I also like to do is put a hole in my tires, my race tires, not my crawler tires. Okay, the reason I do a hole is so, one, my tires don't blow out or blow up when I'm going fast. The air has got a place to release. And if I go in some dirt, dirt's got somewhere to go. After I do that, I make sure my insert is sitting in properly. Okay, these are my inserts. Usually in short course they're directional. Make sure it's sitting in properly and just put my rim in. When it's in, I pull the edge over, make sure it sits in properly. The same on the other side, push it in. Make sure it's sitting all properly. What I also like to do is grab the wheel and turn it. That way, I know it's sitting properly in its groove. After I've done that, I've got my J-Concept thin tire glue. I 
I just pull the edge back and I drip in a bit like so. It's very runny, so it just runs around the rim. That's why I like to use the thin glue. It just goes into all the cracks. And that's it. I don't use rubbers. I don't use anything else. I let that sit for a few minutes. Then I flip them over and do the other side. Happy you joined me. I'm Cass. That was a short tutorial on how to take wheels and tires apart and then glue them up together. I've also got a new wall behind me with cars and I'm gonna take some shots of that and let you see what I've done with my corner. And this is my corner. My work table. My airbrush painting station. A few small cars. Mini Z's, crawlers, hey John, got your bikes, mini crawler, got our charging station here, got my buggies hanging up on the wall, and my short course trucks. And this is my little corner. Well, after seeing my little corner, having an explanation on how I take my tires apart and how I glue my new tires, I hope you join me for future videos. Please like, share and subscribe. I was Kes. Shalom.